Good evening and welcome to The Seven. I'm Laura Miller. Next month, it'll be 15 years since Madeleine McCann disappeared during a family holiday in Portugal. This image of her as a three-year-old remains seared into the public consciousness. Her story has been in and out of the headlines over the years. Well, today it's front and centre after a German man was declared an official suspect. Prosecutors in Portugal haven't officially named the person of interest. Here's our Home Affairs correspondent, Daniel Sanford is becoming increasingly apparent. This is a local cemetery on the outskirts of Mariupol as it appeared just days ago, but satellite images from a US firm appear to show the appearance of around 200 new graves on its boundary. The Kremlin has yet to comment. Catherine Biarianga reports from Southern UK. Boris Johnson says he still expects to be Prime Minister by the time the UK hopes to sign a new trade deal with India in six months' time. He's been speaking on a visit to New Delhi after talks with the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Mr Johnson is facing a Commons investigation into whether he misled MPs over what he knew about lockdown parties. Nicola Sturgeon says her party will provide a pandemic level response to the cost of living crisis if it's successful in next month's local elections. The First Minister pledged to support struggling households as she launched the SNP's manifesto in Greenock earlier. Scotland goes to the polls to elect councillors for all 32 local authority and ultimately reconciliation. One-eyed Dexter, or Joe, depending on who you speak to, is a cat from Peter Head who went missing five years ago and turned up yesterday on an oil platform in the North Sea. How that David oh, Farrell with your Just as well close the gate so he doesn't get away again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, I know. <laughs> Dexter or Joe, the one-eyed cat, there's definitely a movie or something in that. Uh, yeah, and he, you will have a full interview with him on the edit, yeah, tomorrow won't you? night, 9.15 on the BBC Scotland channel. We're on a bit later tomorrow night. 9.15, tune in. OK, thanks, thanks David. Laura. <laughs> well, it has been a glorious few days of weather for many of us. Let's see what the weekend holds. Here's Christopher.